Hi, I'm Kelvin Smith. I'm Acting Chief Executive at CERA while Roger Sutton's on a well-deserved holiday break. There's been a lot of progress in the central city uh, to celebrate. It's been four months since the first stage of the revitalisation project for the Avon River was completed and already we're seeing uh, changes in the ecosystem, recovery and also um, flourishing native fish species. The Avon River is an important part of the city um, and it's important that we look after it. When the Avon River precinct's finished, it'll stretch from the Antig Antigua boat sheds here just beside me right through to Barbados Street, over 3.2 kilometres long. And the next stage, due to start on Monday next week, is the stage of the terraces, which stretches between Cashel Street by the Bridge of Remembrance and goes through to Gloucester Street. A new online database has been set up to deal with issues arising out of the joint ownership of earthquake damage retaining walls. And this information, this database will help uh, insurers uh, with a better plan to repair the retaining walls. The information that will be available to the insurers will um, have things like your neighbour's um, insurance company, um, which properties are red zoned, which properties are subject to mass movement and any impact that skirt may have on, on the repair process. This will help the insurers put in place um, a, a better process across multiple owned and multiple insured retaining walls. The Christchurch City Council and Skirt do have access to the database, but only in a limited sense because only insurers have access to the private insurance information. The database is a great innovation and it's a collaboration of a number of parties including uh, EQC, the Insurance Council, CANCERN, the Residential Advisory Service, the City Council and MB and the insurers themselves. So in all in all it's a great collaboration initiative. Skirt started work this month on a major piping and roading project in the Eddington area. The work involves digging up earthquake damaged wastewater and stormwater pipes and either relining or replacing them and also repairing damaged roads. Now the work is expected to take about 12 months. Skirt's priorities are to minimise traffic disruption and to also, also minimise the impact on businesses and residents. And this is going to be particularly important leading into Cup and Show Week so that uh, any disruption is minimised. Skirt asks everyone to take care around the roadworks and be patient. While there'll be minor inconvenience and disruption, the work has to be done, so it's really important that we get the work done and people be patient and tolerant. Christchurch Hospitals commenced a huge redevelopment programme with preparatory work commenced already on the Acute Services Building. This is part of an overall Canterbury District Health Board redevelopment program which, together with Burwood Hospital, will see a $650 million investment in the future of Canterbury Health. The District Health Board and its contractors are working hard to minimise the impact of this redevelopment program on patients, visitors and staff, and as part of a whole program to smooth out the way people come to and from the, the hospital, a park and ride system is going to be introduced on the 28th of October. These are just some of the topics covered on this month's Greater Christchurch Recovery Update and you should find that in your letterbox either today or tomorrow. If you don't find it in your letterbox or you prefer to go online, you can go to our website www.sera.govt.nz and along with a whole lot of other information on the recovery process.